guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while but I'm so happy to be back again with a new tutorial and this one is actually the most requested so far how to create big voluminized hair if you want to see how I created this bouncy voluminous look keep on watching So the first two products that I washed my hair with are the L'Oreal El Sef Extraordinary Line. Now what makes this line amazing is that it will give my curls a lot of moist without making it too heavy. So I'm still having the volume, I'm still having the big bouncy hair. A lot of shine which I always look for because my hair is always really dry. So I just got out of the shower, my hair is getting dry already, it's gonna get really curly because I did my makeup and I got dressed, um, so I'm gonna do the treatment. Um, this oil is after you wash your hair with the shampoo, after the conditioner or the treatment, once you get out of the shower, you can use this oil. So what it does is it will lock the moist into the hair, it makes sure that the hair will stay hydrated, moisturized during the entire day and also it gives a lot of shine, especially because my hair is naturally dry. It does doesn't look shiny I have to add product I have to polish my hair so a couple of drops of these and I'm gonna make sure that I will focus on the ends and then work my uh, way up I love to squeeze the product into my hair this way I'm not pulling the hair down I'm trying to keep the volume into my hair I love the smell it smells really good but not too strong okay so as you can see I had a fringe and I'm growing it back again, um, but this part dries easily. So I will blow dry the front section just to make sure that it doesn't get really frizzy. And then I'm gonna start in the back. So. Okay, so I'm rotating the brush really fast. This will polish the hair and it will give the hair a lot of shine. Now this is easy to do because the fringe is really short. I will not be able to do this with long hair section. Moving on to the back, I'm doing exactly the same and I'm taking my time while doing this. I know it looks really hard to hold a brush in one hand and the blow dryer in the other, but practice makes perfect. And the key for this hairstyle is to twist the hair around the brush and cooling it off. I'm holding the hair for a couple of seconds before letting it go and I'm twisting the hair and gently letting everything go holding the hair for a couple of seconds will allow the hair to stay in shape perfectly and this will hold the hairstyle and keep it beautiful much longer the entire day Because of the oil, it makes really easy for me to slide with a brush through my hair. As you can see, I'm not pulling the hair and it gives a beautiful shine as well. Moving on to the last hair section, twisting the hair and letting it go. Okay, it's so hot in here, seriously, but I'm done. I blow drying the hair and twisting it while you finish and keeping the and, and cooling the hair off by holding the brush for a couple of seconds before letting go will allow the hair to curl the way you want it. Okay, so now before shaking the hair, I'm gonna add a hairspray. This one is actually made for curly or wavy looks. So because I created a little bit of curls with a brush, I want to use a hairspray that will keep the curls flexible so I can easily run my fingers through my hair or brush my hair if I want to. So what I'm gonna do is pull it to the back and while we're doing this we're gonna keep the hair up and then from a good distance we're gonna spray a small amount and then on the rest of the hair as well. Oh, it smells so good. 
doesn't feel sticky, but I can feel that it's holding the curls perfect in place. And now I'm gonna shake everything. We're gonna wake the hair up. Bailey is sneezing <laughs> because of the smell of hairspray. Okay, so as you can see, it's big, exactly how I want it. A little bit of hairspray. I love this. It's so classy, but still so flirty and so fun. And I love that my bangs or my fringe is getting long now, so I can wear it with the rest of my hair. And you can always tease the hair a little bit, just to make it a little bit bigger, but I'm really happy about the result. selfies we're gonna go outside and take some pictures with this amazing hair I'm gonna post it on Instagram so keep an eye on that thank you so much for taking your time to be here with me I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have any suggestions for other tutorials that I should do comment below thumbs up if you've enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you next time bye guys